we're starting off with the high priestess you're grateful for having the spirituality beliefs going within being very spiritual this is meditate turn inward to discover your soul's truth desire this is not the time for action develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive so a lot of you are tapping into your intuition getting more spiritual and getting downloads getting synchronicities getting signs and symbols from the universe about what direction to take because you've given it to the universe they're going to be speaking back to you in many ways in many forms through dreams through just seeing numbers just through walking in day life what is the clarification that we have for the people watching this now the action that needs to be taken for this is that if you're not into spirituality you need to get more spiritual at this time and let go of these burdens that keep falling out here if the devil shows up in this message I meant to tell you guys that I have a special fallen angel deck just for the devil because he is a fallen angel so if he shows up in this message we will be picking from that deck he has showed up in a couple of messages so check out the playlist and see if it resonates with you guys now why is the intuitive card here the high priestess you're getting more information you're looking at more videos trying to tap into your intuition to, before you make some kind of action in a situation and the knight of pentacles shows up you somebody here needs to slow it down and or you're dealing with someone that is very slow moving this character here is ready to offer something but they're slow at offering something strife this is the five of wands in this deck so somebody here is having conflict inner conflict about somebody coming toward them with an offer this person could always be arguing and fighting causing battles within or causing conflict causing arguing and fighting there's communication about this there needs to be communication the action that needs to be taken is you need to communicate this conflicting emotion that you have within yourself there needs to be communication either from a distance or somebody is coming toward you to communicate something to you that's from a distance why is this knight of pentacles here what's the message that the knight of pentacles he's taking action he's got on a horse and he's heading your way with some kind of conflict or trying to resolve conflict yes there's an offer somebody here kept giving this person a cup of love but they were too busy into their emotions about some kind of past situation and not letting go of the past not letting go of past hurts dwelling about the past now they see that cup and they're disappointed because they took you for granted they didn't take you up on your offer at the time you trusted your intuition you could have walked away from this person because they were too slow moving and now they're coming back to reconcile they have remorse and regret for some of the things that's occurred in the past yep here's the past that's what I was picking up strongly that they were having remorse and regret about the past about past behaviors about past ways past things that happened that occurred that caused conflict in the relationship it caused a riffraff where it pulled you guys apart and you didn't feel close to this person anymore and you're having to go within and trying to figure out if this is the kind of person you really want truly want to be with in this situation so we are grateful that we have learned lessons from this earth sign on how to take action slowly this is quick action fire signs are usually quick to act upon stuff quick to be defensive this person could have fire in their chart, but they are quick to make judgment, make judgment calls, and it could be misunderstandings. But there needs to be clear communication. The, the action for this needs to be clear communication. Once you clarify what the conflict is, you guys can take it slow and heal. Be grateful for this 
opportunity to speak your truth. Don't be harsh with your words. Watch what you say. Take your time. Think about what you're going to say before you say it. Now, what are we thankful for? The page of water for our emotions, for our creativity, sensitivity, open-heartedness. We're very intuitive at this time. Be thankful for the gifts that you have. Not everybody has the same kind of gifts. We all have our own gifts. So, figure out what your gift is in life and heighten that gift and focus and basically obsess over that special gift that you have and put all your focus onto that gift instead of onto a person that is slow moving that causes conflict causes you to be in your head and always doubting yourself having anxiety and you're very you're a very sensitive person very emotional very deep in your emotions you are a very creative person and very intuitive person and you just need to be thankful that this has come upon you the way it has to where you can see the light and turn it into your favor and don't make this cup so fishy this cup's got a fish in it so somebody here could be offering you a cup of love but you're taking it as hmm this cup smells fishy there's a fish in it I don't know if I want to take this or not because of some of the things that somebody has done in the past ooh the queen of cups shows up somebody is deep in their emotions like I said having new ideas new ways of doing things we're going to be clarifying these people in a minute but this queen here knows what they want in a relationship and as you can see this queen has a fish in her cup too is what it looks like or it could be a it looks like a lobster or something but she's got some kind of fish in her cup a lobster of sorts a crab or something she is not playing around with her emotions she wants a true cup of love that to nurture and love oh look the devil did show up so you guys get the devil clarification but somebody here sees somebody being very toxic somebody's running with the devil is what I'm picking up somebody here has multiple people that they give their emotion to they're they they don't take their relation to a an emotional death they only take it to a sexual death they they take it as a sexual depth instead of an emotional depth that they're starting to grow emotions toward this person deep emotions they feel bonded to them they feel bound they feel like stuck like they are the one that's meant for them this could be a very high potency relationship where you interact in passion very strongly but in other aspects you lack and there's disappointment in this loss in pleasure there's very great disappointment in this situation when it comes to dealing with this person because you figured out their flaws, you figured out their weaknesses, you figured out that they were toxic, you figured out you had more emotions for them than they did you, they were giving their cup out to multiple people. Why is this page of water here? Why is the page of water here? Why is the page of water here? Now, why is the page of water here? Your guys and just from the divine. Thank you. I'm going to take those. The page of water is here because of the two of cups. This person is looking for their one, their match. The one that divine has waiting for them their divine partner they could have multiple options and they're giving their cup to multiple people the hangman somebody sees somebody differently now they may see somebody else as their one instead of the one that they had plans for and justice will be served so somebody here in this relationship had legit emotions towards someone they were legit about their offer 
of love. They saw somebody as their one, but now they're seeing them differently. And they may be growing a strong emotional bond where they want to commit. They see you as wife material, husband material. They see you as somebody that they can get grow old with and settle down with. And they want to commit. Or this person here has got their back turned to this devil. If you look right here, this person's back is turned to the devil, turned away from the devil. And the devil is disappointed. He's looking toward this person. So I feel like maybe you were dealing with somebody here that you thought was your one. You wanted to commit to them. But then you've seen their ways and you're ready to turn your back. Turn away from this person. Because of all the chaos that they've caused in this situation. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Spirit guys, angels, and mine. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Thank you. The Queen of Cups is here because she is an Empress. She knows what she wants. She knows her worth, her value. She has morals. She has respect for others. She is respected. She's very creative. There could be a new beginning. Someone could have got somebody pregnant. If you do not want to get pregnant at this time, you better use protection. Because you could be getting pregnant at this time. You're not nobody's fool. This person may have not, not have wanted to commit. Not have a commitment. Not settle down. You're feeling like you're single. You may be with this person. And you're just feeling single. Like you're not really in commitment with them. Because they don't show you the emotions that they need to show you. They just show you burdens. They're always causing burdens in the situation. They're always in and out in your life. And not committing to you as a bond should commit. There is a lot of people out there in the world that is looking for that same kind of commitment. So maybe it is time to let go of these burdens. And be a single person. Be independent on your own self. Have your own place. And do it on your own. And then once you start loving yourself and doing things on your own. Then you'll see it differently. And it'll bring in the right kind of person. The kind of person that has the same kind of beliefs as you. That wants the same things as you. Now we're going to figure out why the devil showed up in your message. We're getting a clarifier for this devil. We're going to be using the fallen angel oracle. He is a fallen angel. Why is the devil showing up here? He has showed up on some of the other messages. So go check out the playlist. The first two videos got it for sure. And there was a couple other videos that got it. Okay. Why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card showing up in Pisces message? Thank you. Okay, there's your message, and this one must come out too. Twenty-one celebration. Wow, time for you guys to celebrate a situation, celebrating that you have figured out somebody's toxic ways of being, somebody's hidden agendas. This could have happened at a wild party. This message is about a wild party that may be just the tonic you need. But be prepared to live with the consequences of the situation. You may have partied too much. You may have went to a party and something happened at a party. This is saying it's time to let go of being so strict and so bound to someone. And go do things without this person. Go not necessarily party, but go to parties, go to birthday parties, go to family events, go to friend events, go to invitations, take up somebody on offer, but make sure to don't overindulge in the situation. 
because you're going to have to prepare for living with the consequences of something that you may do while you're under the influence. So be aware of what you're doing. Awe and love comes in. So a lot of you are loving the fact that you figured out how someone truly is and it did hurt deeply but you're healing in this situation there's romance or the renewal of an existing love in the horizon at this time so you could be reconciling with someone that may have broke your heart that you feel bound to and tied to emotionally and physically you could be reuniting with this person at a party at a get-together and you overindulge in some toxic behaviors and it causes you to loosen up and then you find the strength to talk to a person and you reconcile with this person under the influence and maybe you're regretting it now and you wish that you didn't do that well this isn't the time for you guys to be speaking of your truth in this situation and telling this person what you really want in a relationship if you didn't mean to get back with them you need to be thankful that things happen the way they did occur so that you can resolve the situation and get to the true emotions of things and tell this person like this that you're ready to settle down if they're not ready to settle down you don't want to be with somebody like that and that you have deep emotion for them but you're ready to move on because you love yourself more you don't want to be in a relationship with someone that keeps disappointing you and giving you regrets and false hope empty cups spoiled milk bad cups fishy cups you want a legit cup filled with true love and you're thankful for the blessings of seeing this toxicity in this situation now what should you be blessed for god's favor and his protection you should be blessed for all these backstabbing moments in your life because it's caused you to become a stronger individual a stronger person and you're going to have the strength with God having your back to move forward and become a better version of yourself, basically. Why is the Nine of Swords here? A lot of you are upset and depressed and you need to get out of this depression stage and get out of this just not wanting to do anything. You need to focus on something that you love to do, something that you're good at, whatever it is that you're good at. If it's drawing, cooking, whatever, and focus on doing that and expressing that to the world showing that to the world instead of showing the world you being in a room never getting out not socializing staying upset and depressed you can't live like that oh look that's pretty i do love this deck it's the heaven and earth tarot by the way okay so what is the message for this nine of swords thing here spirit guys angels and vine Thank you. Oh, uh, look. That came out. You've seen it pop, popping out and wanted to come out. So you guys really thought that this person was your one. You're looking for your one. And it's very upsetting to find out that maybe this person wasn't the one that you were thinking that they were. You thought that they were your twin flame or your soulmate, the one for you. But now you're in your head about it and you're not for sure. They were not meeting you halfway in this situation. You're looking for someone that will meet you halfway and that will see you as a star and you'd see them as a star. Let's make a wish, guys. You got the star card. We're going to have a moment of silence. Make your wish. You can write it in the comments below. Make sure if other people are making wishes to wish one of the other people that their wish comes true. And make your other wish. Thank you. But somebody here is seeing somebody as being very strong, hopeful, optimistic. Because they know their worth. They were looking for somebody that was wanting to be their equal. Their partner. That had their back. But this person didn't have their back. As soon as they turned their back, they were getting backstabbed. With nine swords. This cane here. Or crutch. Had a secret compartment. And it was a knife. And as soon as you turn your back. They would take this cane out. 
and reveal the sword and stab you in the back. And eventually it came out in the open and you felt the knife, knife, knife sword go into your back. And you had enough. And you're like, I deserve better. I'm going toward my true happiness. I'm making my own wishes come true because I'm looking for that one that wants to value me and have respect for me and have morals. I'm walking away from someone that doesn't want to help me in any way that's always taken from me too much and always keeping me in the dark, keeping secrets, doing things just for their own benefit. I see my worth and I'm going to shine brighter than any star in the sky and I'm going to do my own thing and find the creativity that I want to do and focus on that and shine in the light of my own ideas of my own creativity of my own projects of what I love to do instead of being obsessed over a, an individual of wanting that kind of bond you need to be obsessed with your own self and give to your own self not in a selfish way but in a selfless way around others it may be time for you to seclude yourself away from this person that may be keeping you down because they have appeared they sweat you off your feet and you may realize that they were just a martyr they were acting like a victim they were trying to get whatever they could from you and you seen the light because you have higher standards and somebody here is walking away and somebody's coming after them as if no don't leave me you're the star you are the one that i desire that i want to be with i am sorry i have regrets i have remorse I feel bad about everything that has occurred in this situation. Your main focus message is Dragon Horde. Protecting the future. Legacy. True riches. So you got to plan for the future. Think of the future. Go within. Get out of this mindset because you're delaying your future. Of having your wishes come true. Of finding that one that will meet you halfway. That is your true one that's meant to be with you. You're delaying this process by staying in the room. And staying depressed. And not loving yourself. And not dolling yourself up. Not cleaning your area up where you live. Not cleaning up after yourself. Not focusing on self. It's delaying your future. Okay. You need to protect your future guys. Your angel message is clarity you guys got clarity i do like to display this card so i'm going to put it here while i read it with this card clarity being here i want to go ahead and put this one up there because i feel that it's very strongly saying that you need to clear your mind angel wisdom reminds you that a busy cluttered mind is a sick one and a still clear mind is a divine one allow the wisdom in your heart to radiate out and dissolve the chatter of your mind. Know that your angels has drawn this to your attention and is waiting to help you in your task. Sit quietly so that you can find the stillness within. Then you can shine a pure, clear light onto every area of your life. In the clarity of this light, the angels will reveal a new way of being. You will see things differently and be able to make decisions from strength and clarity. Your affirmation is, my mind is quiet and still and clear. So a lot of you do need to get out of your mindset and clear your mind. Focus on something that is going to make you happy and make you stand out in whatever aspect that you do in your life. What is it that you do in your life that you're really good at? If it's reading books, read more books. Whatever it is that you know that you're good at, amplify that ten times. Obsess over that thing, not a person, not of a person. Obsess over God. Obsess over spirituality. Obsess over the being of a higher vibration of being true to yourself and becoming a better version of yourself, basically. You do not want to have obsessions over a person because the obsession card showed up. Somebody's obsessing over the wrong person, the wrong type of thing in this situation and it's causing to be in their head and they're they've got their head cluttered with the wrong kinds of 
emotions. They need to clear their mind. Your Jesus message is, Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke twelve thirty two. Once you give it to the universe, you will have that key. You will have that ticket to a blissful place of eternity, of feeling happiness for eternity. And it starts now, here in this moment, in this time of you listening to this video. Start focusing on seeing more positive things in life. If you're watching a lot of negative things on your phone or on the TV or however you're seeing stuff worldwide, you need to try to change seeing that negative stuff, seeing cheating stuff, seeing people being backstabbing, seeing fighting, seeing massacres, seeing bad news, whatever that's bad and negative. Lear away from that and start watching meditation videos. Start watching nature videos. Start getting out in nature. Make your own meditation videos. Come up with something that is positive in your life. That you are good at. And amplify that under a microscope. And perfect it. And be good at that one thing. Don't give up hope. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. And please your own heart and mind and soul. And give your own self-clarity, peace in mind. You need to go into nature and meditate. I do have meditation videos on my channel. So if you want to check out those meditation videos out, check them out. I will be posting a meditation video for this playlist. I always try to post a meditation video for the playlist. So watch the whole playlist out. And hopefully you guys will like those things that I post on my channel. I do add gifs to all my videos, and I hope you guys enjoy all that. And always remember, guys, that in order to have that peace and happiness, you have to treat others the way you're wanting to be treated. If somebody keeps treating you the, the way you don't want to be treated, and you keep treating them the way you want to be treated, and they're not treating you that way, it's not time to get back at them. It's time to move on. It's time to keep going on until you find that person that will treat you back the way you are treating them. Okay? He may be a catalyst in someone's life. And if you speak your words and speak your what's on your mind about how you want to be treated and they hear you out and they still do you wrong, it's time to cut the cord. It's time to take that last sword, the tenth sword, out of your own pocket and cut away all them other swords and start fresh and new and learn these tough lessons it'll leave a scar but it's a good scar because we will be the victor in this situation because we find peace within ourselves and we don't let that person control us anymore and we don't obsess over that person we don't go chasing them because we don't want nobody that wants them. we want somebody to chase us why do we want to keep chasing somebody that doesn't want to even be with us that's ridiculous. We want to find somebody that's willing to come chase us too. If we're willing to chase somebody, don't you want that person to chase you too? If they don't want to chase you, then maybe they're not your one. And you know who does chase us every day? He's right here. He's always chasing us. Telling us to come with him. Come with him. He's the love of our life as we are the love of his. Hope you guys enjoyed this message. Have a great rest of your day and holiday. If you're watching this on the Thanksgiving holiday that we celebrate in the United States. And always remember guys, treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless. Hey Pisces, thank you for joining me on AngelWorks 3110. My name is Gladys. And if you've never seen my channel before, I do tell you what I see, here and feel. We're going to go ahead and get started with your message. And watch the video all the way to the end. I do put the shuffle at the end. And I add bonus links at the end. Thank you for joining me. And let's begin. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and start your message. This is for Pisces. What we are doing is 
what we're grateful for. Grateful is an action that we need to be taking at this time. Thankful is a feeling that we have. So we're going to get into our feelings and we're going to be thankful for the feelings that we're having at this time. And blessed is upon us. God's favor and protection is upon us. He's blessed us. And we're going to find out what the blessing is. We're going to be clarifying every one of the sections with these cards. If we get any people, I'll be clarifying the people with three cards. I hope you guys enjoy this message.